Hi, this is Jack Wood from Planet Eclipse. And I'm here today to show you the new PAL QD system for the Planet Eclipse eMac. There are two key new features of the PAL QD system. The first is the way that the loader attaches to the marker. There's a new feature that attaches directly to all existing eMacs. Simply remove the old feed tube and place with a new PAL QD feed tube. There's no lever mechanism on here. There is just simple latching cross mechanism here, which is used to attach the loader onto the marker. The feed tube of the loader itself is different shape and form. This does several different things. First of all, it allows it to positively latch into position. The loader cannot rotate in the feed tube, which means that the PAL plunger is always aligned with the uh, paddle inside the loader. And then there's a simple latching lock mechanism to retain the loader securely in place. It means that both players and field owners have a quick and secure way of adding and removing the loader without having to adjust with any hex keys or levers or other components that can be lost on the field. The second feature is one that was requested by several fields where the loader is removed between games by the customer and retained by the customer in the safe zone. As they come into the safe zone, the customer normally removes their loader and inside safe zone, uh, they're presented with a piece of tissue or another blocking device to place into the feed neck so that the pa their paintballs that they have from the previous game can be stored and kept safe inside their loader. And then they just reattach the loader uh, for the next game to the, any marker that's available. This obviously has issues when it's raining, when it's muddy and dirty, the tissue gets um, cloggy or disintegrates, bits of the tissue can go into the uh, loader itself and cause malfunctions. So what we've done with the PAL QD is to put a ball blocking device in the feed tube. There's a small lever op operated blocking device inside there that opens up once the loader is engaged into the feed tube. This can be easily demonstrated. Some paintballs can be added at any time. Can be added at the start of the day, and the, the loader could be given to the customer at the start of the day, pre-loaded with a, a set number of rounds. But you see, the paintballs can't come from the loader when it is off the marker. Once it's put onto the marker and latched into place, that allows the paintballs to fall down into the breech. When the loader is removed. Once again, it's blocked and the paintballs cannot be released. All that's left in the market is the two rounds that drop down from the loader once it's inserted. Obviously, the PAL QD retains some of the other features of the standard PAL system, such as the agitating floor that uses a plunger mechanism inside the marker to agitate the paintballs uh, and to prevent blockages and jams in the loader. We also have two sizes of PAL QD. We have the low cap and the high cap. Both loaders will shoot 68 and 50 cal paintballs. And there is a 50 cal insert that slips into the feed tube and locks into place. That allows consistent 50 cal feeding. And the latching mechanism inside the feed works with both 68 and 50 cal. So there's some of the new features on the PAL QD, available very soon.